dentist and the dark I was scared of pretty girls and starting conversations Hey everyone, so right now I'm doing a car tour. Sorry for my steering wheel. This video has been requested ever since I got my car, which I think was in like March, maybe. And um, yeah, so just I want to do a quick disclaimer. Um, I did not buy this car myself. My parents did buy this car for me, but I am extremely grateful. And it was not a brand new car. It was a used car. And um, yeah, so I'm extremely grateful for this car. I realized that it's really nice and I really love my car a lot. So I'm so grateful that my parents uh, got this car for me. And I'm not like trying to brag or anything. You guys just really wanted to see this video. Oh my god, this is so awkward. People are driving by. Okay. Anyways, so yeah, um, if you're wondering, my car is a 2013 Ford Focus Special Edition, and it's like this really bright red color, and the interior I have is all black, and um, the seats are like mesh and cloth, like you'll see. I do have my license. I got it actually yesterday when I'm filming this, so I got it on June 12th, and first try I got it, and I was so excited because I got like the hard guy at the DMV that I went to. Like everyone said, oh my god, if you get this guy, you're gonna fail. I watched him fail two people in front of me, then I passed, so I was like... Yeah, so if you guys want like a permit slash driver's license video, like frequently asked questions, then just let me know and you can ask some questions down below and I'll answer them in that video if you guys want to see that. I'm just going to turn my car on because I'm like literally dying of heat in Pennsylvania. It's like 90 degrees right now and I'm actually dying because I didn't turn my car on yet. So, so we're just going to get right on into the video and I'll show you all the details of my car and what I keep in here and stuff like that. So if you want to see that, then just continue watching. Okay, so this is my car. And it is a 2013 Ford Focus Special Edition. And I don't know what that is. It's not a scratch, I swear. Anyway, so this is my car and I love the color. It's like a really bright red color. It has four doors. Okay, so here's my trunk and I'm just gonna like block out my license plate when I go to open. This is what I have in my trunk. I keep my car super clean. So I just have my Lily Pulitzer Market tote and then another Lily Pulitzer tote and then some extra like car floor padding I guess and then a little chamois for if I get a car wash and a blanket. So now I'm just gonna get into my car. These are my keys. I'll just start off with that. So I'll tell you where all of my keychains are from. I have so many, but I just don't feel like taking them off. This first one I got off of Etsy. I'll put the shop name down below, but I love it. It's just like a lobster roll like wristlet thing. It doesn't actually fit around my wrist, but I can still carry it from that. And I have like a silver theme going on. I refuse to get anything that's gold. Then I have this little anchor from Vera Bradley that my mom got for me because I like anchors and it matches my car. Like that red is the color of my car, so I thought it was cool. Then I have this circle monogram. It's like a circle acrylic, it's like a lobster roll monogram on it, which I ordered off of Etsy. I'll put that Etsy shop down below. For Christmas, my mom got me this long chump keychain and it's like a deep red color then i just have my keys which look like that they're pretty basic and as you can see all my stuff lights up oh music turning that off okay um well i have to put my seatbelt on so it doesn't make that noise hold on for the dashboard i have this rpm thing then i have the speedometer and then i have my little thing that i can like change with this right there that okay thing i can just like go down and like see how many miles are left how many hours i've been driving for this trip i actually never change that but um yeah i just keep it set to trip number one and at the mile thing because then it tells me like how many miles i have left before i have to get gas which is super helpful and then another cool feature my car has is if i open a door it says which door is ajar and I don't know I think that's kind of cool and then also it tells me which direction I'm going which you guys can see right there the temperature outside 86 degrees yep and then how many miles are in my car and if I'm in park reverse neutral drive or low I just have my gas amount left but I typically just look at that I don't even look at um, the full or empty thing and then on my steering wheel I have these two little okay things which control like this like I told you and um, then I have that one which controls that which I'll get to in a moment and then I just have the uh, calling button hang up button I can um, move my music up move it down and then I can uh, do a voice commands like play whatever song or something like that then I can seek with that so yeah, and then on the other side, it's just the basic like thing that's on every car. 
um, for cruise control. Next to my steering wheel, I just have this guy, which controls my lights. So if it's nighttime, then I set it to that. That pops my trunk, which I'm not gonna pop right now. But also my trunk has a thing where you can open it from the back. So I don't have to use that like ever. Then on the driver's side, I have the mirror controls and I never readjust my mirrors except for if I'm gonna parallel park. I just like adjust that and then it like can move my mirror down and whatnot. So highly recommend if you guys are gonna take your driver's test to ask to adjust the mirrors. It helps so much. Just a little tip for you. Then I have all my window controls and I have the child lock, which I have on. I don't know why. I think I turned it on accidentally. And then we have this little center console. <laughs> I don't even know what you would call this. It just has um, the station on there and then it like tells you what song is playing and stuff like that. I typically go between 96.5 if you're in Philadelphia then you know like that's a good station and also Q102 so if you're, you're in Philadelphia then I recommend those two stations. I have these which just control if the air is gonna not come out or come out. Then I have a place for a CD to go. No one listens to CDs these days so never have used it yet. And I have the radio setting which it's on right now. I have the aux setting but I don't have an aux cord because you can do Bluetooth in my car or you can do the USB for like playing music and stuff so I don't have an aux cord. I should probably get one though. Then it has the phone setting. It has the menu button where you can like set up your clock and like display and yeah and you could like sync your phone it has that obviously which controls all this stuff these buttons which are the seek buttons and then it has this which controls the volume and it has these which um, as you can see up here the screen says like mute AST and tune so like if I do that then it's muting it and like if I press that it's gonna do AST don't know what that means so I'm not gonna press it I can like tune from here and then I can like type in a station or whatever. Hazards right here, obviously, which every car has. And then one weird thing about my car, which I was, I have to say, like I was pretty like confused when I saw this, is none of the doors in my car, as you can see, this doesn't have an unlock thing. Uh, the car, the doors back here don't have something to unlock it. Well, that is because I get to control who leaves my car. So this locks all the doors this unlocks them which honestly I feel like is a super safe feature of my car because like if you have kids in your car um, like really young kids which I obviously am not gonna have in my car but you can just like lock all the doors and they can't do anything about it so it's helpful but at the same time it's kind of annoying because I always forget like people can't unlock their own door right below that I have my setting for air, heat and whatnot and then I have this which just is in every car it recirculates the air in your car I have this, which is like cold air, um, like room temperature, I guess. So like kind of cold, kind of warm, and then I have warm. So then I just have the basic like little settings right there that say where the heat is going to go. Then I have the defroster button for the back of the car. And then I have this, which tells you if the passenger airbag is off. And I don't know why it's not off right now, because there's no one in the seat except for my lens. Then I have my little thing here that I can put it in like reverse neutral drive and low and then this button on the side is for if like you're going down a hill then we have this area right here which I just keep my lily tumbler in because I bring that with me like all the time because it's good if you're like ever thirsty and then I have my lily wrist slip because it's where I keep my license which I'll show you my picture hold on so yeah that is my picture for my license you probably saw this on Instagram and it's so bad but I asked to retake it so many times so I was like oh my god I feel so bad like I'm not gonna ask again so I just dealt with it and it's so bad but there you go yeah you can see that now and then I just keep my phone plugged in like at all times because my phone always dies so I just always have to keep that plugged in when I'm in my car and yeah so that's what I keep there then it has the uh, cigarette is that I call it a cigarette lighter what do you guys call this thing but it's the carport thing and then I just have this place for coins so I just have a bunch of dimes in there don't know why um, then we have this little center area the USB charger is back here and then it also has an aux cord so that's really nice and then I just keep my sunglasses in here so it's just like a Veer Bradley case I got in fifth grade and then I just have my fake Wayfarers in there so I always wear sunglasses when I'm driving that's another good tip I never would wear sunglasses but I always wear these when I'm driving 
Then I have a pen because you don't want to use other people's pens like if you go to the bank or something. Gum because I like my breath to be fresh so I gotta keep gum in here. And I have a hair tie in here just in case I get really hot. In here I have a lint roller because I hate having lint on my stuff. Then in here I have this Vineyard Vines lanyard and then I just keep my house keys on just in case like my garage door won't open or something. I have my keys. Then up here I just have this thing that my mom mom got me and it's like a guardian angel thing and it's gold so yeah I just keep that on there because she gave it to me and it just like helps to keep my car safe apparently so I just have it up there then in my glove box I have a bunch of stuff okay so in here I have um, this which is for if you want to like put your phone like it's suction cups up here and I can use my phone as like a GPS or something and then I have tissues in there and if you have like a running nose or a bloody nose I can be like hey I actually have tissues like real tissues not napkins these are the ones that actually fit in your cup holder but I don't put them in there I don't know I just I don't put it there then I have just like the Ford case that came with the car and it has like my manual in it and stuff and then it also has my insurance and my registration for my car in there because I just decided to put it in there then on my roof I just have this which is like a light and yeah, so I actually never have used that yet. That's the first time I've ever used that. In my back seat, I have three seats, and um, it's kind of like there's not a lot of like foot room back there. So yeah, but I don't real. I'm not even allowed to drive more than one person that's not an immediate family member. So I don't really use my back seat that much. And yeah, it just has the same mesh seats that the front has. That's what's in my car. Hopefully you guys like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up this video was so requested now you guys know what's in my car and I just want to say thank you guys so much for all of your support in my last video that I made it really means so much to me that you guys like all of my back and are like supporting me in this and I just realized that I'm just gonna have to make more videos for you guys thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye